Hey everybody, this is Hakobo here, and I thought I'd do a Final Cut tutorial. Final Cut Pro is what I'm using. Um, I think this feature is also available in Final Cut Express. Anyways, I'm working on a music video, and there's a very cool tool that I don't know if people really know about, so I thought I'd just show you how that works. So, I've got this synced up to the music, and I wanted to kind of zoom over really quickly. Um, those are kind of representing where I'll have photo frames with moving stuff. So, um, yeah, if we play through, moves somewhat quickly, but I want a really quick hand. But the thing is, I still want it to be lined up with my music. So, how I'm going to go about keeping that the same length. I'm going to move this down to the layer below. I've got snapping on. If it's not on, you can just hit N. That'll turn it. Um, there it's off, and now it's back on. Um, so I usually toggle back and forth, back and forth, using Z to zoom. Anyways, I am going to grab this, and I'm going to lock these layers down, so they're not going to move when I ripple sequence. Um, when I go to change speed, if it's ripple sequence, it'll move everything back that way. If I turn it off, um, then it won't move everything, but I don't want it off here because then if I, let's say, make it 300%, it'll um, set the out point to three times as long, so it'll keep going you know, all the way into the next shot. So that's not what I want. Um, since I want, I think I'll have the end of smoothing, that'll just kind of, rather than instantly popping from um, going 300% or so to 100%, it'll kind of ease it in. Um, so I'm going to change the rate to 300, um, and then smoothing, I don't really need it at the start, I kind of want a quick pop over. So now I see this moves here. Um, and it didn't move this because it's locked down, but we know, but it's still ending right here. Now I'm going to unlock this and unlock my audio that goes with it. If you hold down shift, then I'll move it exactly. Um, if you don't hold it down, it's hard to get it the, the exact same. If you hold down shift, you can move it a layer up. And over here, well, normally it's set to here, but if you click over, it's got, you've got your slip tool, you've got your slide tool, and then you've got your speed tool. And, um, actually I'm going to hit A, and just to make sure I have a clip on either end, it often likes filling the gap between two clips. So I'm going to add this in to the other end. Then I'm going to drag this so it fills this gap. And now, I can delete this. Now, it's adjusted the speed on that clip. So it still is synced with the music in the same speed. So it's now made that about 75%. Now we have, let's see if I can get this to play. Now it moves over really quickly, kind of whips over. But then the timing is going to still be linked up. and. You know, if we wanted, we could just have the beginning even slower, and then the rest will play full speed. So now that whips over really fast, and now it's playing full speed. And it reset that to 41. So that's a really powerful tool, especially when you're working on a music video and you want everything synced up to make that way um, I did that at another point where I wanted something to happen really fast a quick move but I still wanted it to be part slower and that's a great tool to be able to do that